at by Hi, this is Cookie, and before we get started, I want everybody to check under their seats. Feel that? That's the underside of a seat. Pretty cool, huh? Four players. That's surprising. Um, you realize you don't win real cash, right? Handle those screws carefully. You can force another player to answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra bonus dollars. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Spray-on Sunburn! A healthy way to look damaged! Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> so, let's make this happen. Get ready, time to crash it. First on the docket, Mr. Universe sure is sparkly. Say the muscular Mr. Clean decides to start training for a professional weightlifting competition. While practicing for the clean and jerk portion of the competition, what might you see him do? Lift a barbell to his collarbone, then above his bald head. Lift a barbell to his waist, then above his bald head. Lift a barbell above his bald head in one continuous motion. Or lift a barbell to the back of his neck, then... Player one. What were you thinking there? Player four? Well, you've made a mess. <laughs> Players two and three? The clean and jerk properly executed requires that the weightlifter first lift the barbell up to rest on his collarbone and deltoids, and then straight up over his head. <laughs> Mr. Clean does it all alone, too. He refuses to have somebody spot him because the man just really hates spots. Here's one for you. I got me gun aimed at your heart chakra, and it's a bloody disodat. Player four? That score is embarrassing. Play this disodat and make me proud. I am going to read off seven names, and for each, I want you to tell me if it's the name of a yoga pose or the title of a Jason Statham movie. If it's a yoga pose, press the square button. If it's Jason Statham, Press the circle button. Now, the rest of you need to hear this. Lock in your answers before player four does, because if player four gets it wrong, everyone who got it right will split that cash. All right, let's get started. Warrior! Plank! Crank! Safe! Warrior two! Cobra! Smash! Your performance was like a fart in a yoga class. For free yoga classes here at the office every Thursday. Unfortunately, Thursdays are the days I pick up my weekly four cases of Slim Jims at Costco, so I can't make it. Dance with me, Disco 3. Try this on for size. I don't know how much an upright vacuum costs. Which company's logo would make the best name tag on the Price is Right? Targets, Best Buys, Walmarts, or Macy's? <laughs> Player two? <laughs> Player one? The Best Buy logo is a giant yellow price tag. Much like the yellow price tag shaped name tags contestants wear on the Price is Right. But then you'd have to convince Drew Carey your name is Best Buy. Maybe it's a family name. And then if you won, they'd make the checkout to Best Buy. Yeah, it's not worth it. Up next, Hidden Wood. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. Let's do a Billy O'Brien question. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. Hello, Billy. I'm not Dilly. I'm Dilly's sister, Detty. Wait, 
What? You heard me. <clears throat> is this thing on? Okay. Which of these finest tuttets is not a female tuttet like me? Miss Tiggy, Sherry Lewis's land shot, Toto Gigio, or... Player three, who gets your screw? My oh my, player four, you're getting screwed. You've got five seconds to make a choice. <laughs> Superb screwing player three. Let's see if you can make this really hurt. Player two. <laughs> player three. Oh, come on. Miss Tiggy, you're just trying to do wrong. Player one. Billy. Daddy. Betty, what are you doing? And why are you wearing that wig? Just read the answer, Dunny. <sighs> Miss Piggy, Lamb Chop, and Moki are all females, I guess. But Topo Gigio, the famous puppet mouse from the Ed Sullivan Show, is a boy. <laughs> Not to be disrespectful, but I guess I don't think of puppets as really having any gender at all. Well, if you die me a few drinks sometime, Mr. Nasterson, I could certainly prove you wrong. Um, let's talk about this off mic. Five fingers! Why not try cross-dressing at cross-purposes? Well, that was, uh, weird. It gets me thinking. If RuPaul got really into physics, how would she change the name of her reality show, Drag Race? RuPaul's Vector Potential Race? RuPaul's Retarding Force Race? RuPaul's Kinetic Energy Race? Or RuPaul's Relic Players 2 and 3? <coughs> Player 4? No, I think relativistic mass is what it's like to see your uncle in a dress. <coughs> Player 1? Drag is the lessening or retarding force on an object from wind or fluid resistance. And when you're cross-dressing, you have to be very careful about where your fluid resistance is coming from. That'll bring an end to our first round. And player one is ahead. And leaving no doubt about it either. Keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. And lest you forget, our wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting to be picked. Let's get back to the action. Here's one I like to call... McConaughey there! If Matthew McConaughey went to visit his ancestral home of Scotland, what side of the road would he drive on? All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, but a little... Player two, who gets the screw? You're screwed, player three. Five seconds to pick an answer. Any last words? Not uh, too late. Player two, you handle that screw very well. Why not pick up a few more bucks? Player four? Check, please. <laughs> Players one and two? In Scotland, like in the rest of the UK, cars always drive on the left side of the street. If you drive down the right side in Scotland, you'll get killed. Question seven! Get up and change your mind. Next? Gagging on the couch. There are so many characters in the Simpsons universe, I still don't know how many total because there are more of them than there are fingers at this office. I may have to figure out a different way to count. Hmm, maybe this Geiger counter over here. If I use a Geiger counter, which character from the Simpsons will it definitely count? Duffman, Crazy Cat Lady, Radioactive Man, or Mr. Burns? It's so obvious. The Geiger counter is an instrument used to pick up radioactivity levels, so it would definitely pick up Radioactive Man. Radiation can last thousands of years, or a couple of seasons less than The Simpsons. It looks like you got burned. And now you can get burned for weeks to come with... A can of Spray-On Sunburn you just won from Spray-On Sunburn. Spray-On Sunburn, the safe, easy way to look sunburned fast.
This wrong answer of the game nets you a handsome 8,000 bucks. Yeah, you're welcome. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Coming up next, a chew good man. Oh, shoot. My panini press is broken. I guess I'll have to eat something else. Cookie fortune, cookie fortune, swear. Cookie fortune, cookie necessary. Oh, damn, I love that panini press. Okay, my fortune reads, Don't have a cow. Oh, all right, I'm calm. And to prove it, which of these actions would be an example of me not having a cow? Me having... Player one, who are you gonna screw? Believe it, player three, you're screwed. You got five seconds to answer. <laughs> player one, your screw worked out. Want a little more money? Players one, two, and four. A female bear is a sow. The other females listed here are known as cows. This was a hypothetical question, by the way. I've never given birth to any kind of animal that I know of. Am I right? Take a good look at... Pitbull isn't dangerous, he's just misunderstood. What if the singers of Timber had no timbre? Kesha and Pitbull's voices... What player four? Who do you care to screw? Player three, you're getting screwed. You got five seconds. That was quality. Ah, well played screw player four. Time to twist the knife. Player two? Whoa! Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Players one and four? How do you say, uh, no? <laughs> Wanna see the right answer? The timbre of your voice or an instrument is what makes it distinguishable from someone else's voice or another instrument. So timbre with no timbre would mean that Kesha and Pitbull sound exactly alike. <laughs> With technology today, who knows what singers actually sound like anyway? I mean, take my voice for example. If we don't adjust it, then I sound way different. I mean, can you hear how nasally I am? And on its way, Occupy Moose Street. I find 1% milk to be the most unfair dairy product of all. Why should all the milk fat be contained in that tiny 1% of itself? How about some fat for the rest of us? But I'm sure it's got a good excuse. What might my carton of 1% milk say about how 1% of itself came to control all the milk fat? It took years of hard work and chemical extraction of fat. I got up off my butt and boiled away the excess fat. I used my brain power and spun out the surplus fat. Or, I schemed and plotted, then froze off the fat I didn't want. Player one, pick it up. Huh? Player three? Hate to disappoint you, but wait, no I don't. I so wanted you to pick this one. Whole milk, which contains about 3% milk fat, is centrifuged or spun at a high rate of speed until the heavier fat is separated from the rest of the milk. They can then add however much fat they require. And sometimes when cows give a lot of milk, it's too big to pale. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 bucks if you're right. 2,000 gone if you're wrong. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I'm a sexy French maid and this is a stick up. The robbers in these movies were disguised as what? Good luck.
takes it. Very nice score, player one. It's got a nice shiny coat, strong teeth, and its nose is cold. You should call it... You don't know Jack! My name is Jaden Funk, and I want to teach you slam poetry. But talk is cheap, right? Cheap like a toy made in China by kids in sweatshops working 9 to 5 like Dolly Parton. The interruption. But North Korea just dropped a nuclear bomb on us. Just like I dropped a bomb. Mom and Dad, I'm not running the family business. Mom and Dad, I want to be a slam poet artist. To be happy like a megastore smiley face, you have to wear a matching vest just like everybody else. Ding dong, ding dong. Welcome to heaven. The most powerful words to any true-blooded American. So talk isn't cheap, but my class is. $50 for the eight-week session at the Rosewood Adult Learning Center. Hope to see you there. Anton Jones was the greatest detective in the world. I noticed a gray speck on your jacket, which could only have come from a quarry upstate. Gentlemen, the murderer is the mayor. But after a terrible accident... I'm afraid his body won't make it, but we can save his brainwaves. The greatest mind in the world now resides in a pocket calculator. Where am I? No! And with the help of a friend, he'll crack the case and crunch some numbers. Don't you see, John? There's no way his wife could have killed him. That's great, but how much should I leave for this tip? Oh, uh, 15% of 2850 is, uh... From the producers of Tommy Gulch, Attorney Stripper, comes Calculator Jones P.I. Any last words, Calculator Jones? Boobs? <laughs> Boobs. Free! Police! I'll be back on the street in no time! Then I guess I'll calc you later.